Hey y'all, what's up? We're back with another book haul. And I'm so excited because I got a lot of books because I can't stop buying books. So I went to a Barnes and they had a, um, like an author there, but I think her name was Katie Love. Something like that, but I don't know who she is. I think she's like a self-help, like love author thing. So I'm not sure, but yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So the first book I bought is the fourth book in the Inheritance Game series, The Brothers Hawthorne. I read like the first three chapters and I was like, I'm going to cry. Like literally, when I got to like the third or the fourth chapter, I don't know which one it is. I'm just going to let you know, like I sat there in the bookstore like wanting to cry. And like I was like gasping, I was like having my hand over my mouth and I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. Just like... It's so good. I love Jamie Singh Grayson. And, like, I almost threw up out of excitement just when I saw this book. Because I had seen it with its black cover at the store the other day. But I hadn't seen it in its purple cover until I got to Barnes. Like, I hadn't seen it in person. And I was just, like, I got so excited that, like, I almost wanted to throw up. It was ridiculous. But I'm so excited to read this. I'm in the middle of another book right now. But I just wanted to start it and... It's so good. Like, I can't. It, it's it's too good. So, the next book I got is Little White Lies, which I think is part of, like, the Debutantes series. And um, it's by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, who wrote The Inheritance Games and The Naturals. And I haven't read The Naturals yet, but I have it right here. And I really want to read it um, because I love The Inheritance Games so much. But I'm probably going to read The Brothers Hawthorne first. And then I'll probably either, I'm probably going to get into this book next just because there's, so far there's only two books out in the series and I don't know if she's releasing another, but there's four books in the natural series. So I just, I'd rather finish this book first, but it's about like a girl who does debutantes. I don't fully know the story, but I don't know. I'm really excited. It looks so good. And the cover is like really cute. Do you see how they're holding like the little like things what are they called a wrench scissors and handcuffs i don't know why i can't think okay so now you're gonna be able to tell that i'm getting ready for like the fall mood you know so of course i got legends and lattes because it just sounds amazing and it's called it's like people call it a cozy fantasy and it's about like i think it's called an orp i don't know what they're called but, like, these mythical beings, and they're running, like, um, a coffee shop. Why can't I ever think? And I've heard that some people think it's boring because it's just, like, they're basically just describing running, like, a Starbucks, and they're not really going, like, much of a deep dive into, like, more of the magicness of it. So, I don't know. But it sounds so cute, and the cover's really cute. So, I can't wait to read it. The next book... I got is The Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes, and it's the fourth book in the um, Hunger Games series, but I think it's kind of like spin-off, kind of, something like that. Um, I'm not fully sure, but there was three different cover options. Like the original cover, which is like green, the Barnes & Noble cover, which is purple, and then like the movie cover. And I love the movie cover so much. Like, it's so pretty, the gold, compared to the other two. I don't know. Like, you see, like, all the details? Like, that's so pretty. I love it so much. The next book I got is Ninth House, which my only reason I want to read it, I think. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one about uh, Yale and, like, their secret societies. And literally, I was like, Yale more girls. Like, Yale and Secret Societies. So Gilmore Girls. And if that was a spoiler for Gilmore Girls for you, I'm sorry, I apologize. But it's been out well over 10 years. Practically 20, you know? So it's fine. You, you had time. So, yeah. It's about, like, Secret Societies and Yale. And I want to read it so bad. Like... I'm just so excited because I know it's not going to be like Gilmore Girls, but I feel like, because 
like a Gilmore Girls vibe to it, if you think about it, you know? So, I, this is the a book haul with the most amount of books I've ever had within the book haul. And I've never recorded such a short amount of time for a book haul. I think this is my third book haul I've done. The, and they both had four books, and I was able to get 10 minutes of content within those four books. I got six books, and I only have five minutes of content so far. It's ridiculous. <sighs> um, the last book I got is The Atlas Six, which it says in the back that it's about, like, magicians. But I don't, I whenever people talk about it, they say it's, like, not really magicians. Wait, what did I see? Sorry, I think I just saw, like, a... Oh my gosh. There's like, don't read it, but like a drawing. What? Is there more drawings like this throughout the book? Or... Oh, that's the dog. Sorry, I just, I need to know. Oh my god. Look, they're so pretty. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. The dog is barking at the cats. <laughs> um, but I didn't realize there was a bunch of pretty drawings in this book, which is really cool. There's a guy named Caleb in the book? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm just discovering so much right now. Like, look at that. That's so pretty. That's so cool. Okay, well now I'm really excited. <laughs> Um, oh. Okay, so. Inheritance games. My brain needs to work more properly, more better. So, I I looked at the back of the book because I was like, I want to know if she's announcing another um book in the series. And look, look at this. Look at this the grandest game is the next book in the series which okay we're about to have some spoilers for the third book in the inheritance game series so just skip ahead a little bit okay so you know how like at the very last page she's talking about like starting like a game or whatever like uh, having to do with like the money or something i don't really remember but she talks about like starting a game so the next book in the series, which I think is kind of like more of a spin-off, because it says the grandest game, number one, when you go on, like, Goodreads or on Barnes & Noble's website. It's just, like, the first book in the series. So it's, like, kind of like a spin-off, but still part of the series. Kind of like, I think this one's supposed to be, like, a standalone within the series. And then the next one's going to be about, like, the games that Avery's hosting, which is, like, so cool. Okay. We're back with no more spoilers. So I'm just like really excited because it sounds so cool. Anyways, I'm probably gonna put it on speed run, but I'm gonna let you guys watch me put these books on the shelf just in case you might want to if you think that's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> OMG guys, I completely forgot. I was gonna show it to you, but look what I got. It's, it's so cute. Okay, maybe it doesn't look so cool in the video, but I don't know if you can see it, but it's from like the Halloween section of Target. And there are these little light up ghosts. Maybe I'll bring them closer to the screen. So this is like a necklace, but look, it's a little light up ghost. It looks kind of creepy on the screen. Here, let me turn the light off here so it's like a little light up ghost it's like a necklace but i decided to hang it from here oh my gosh like it's so cute and i thought it would look cute on video like not the flashing one you know but just like that it just looks so cute i feel like i don't know let me know what you think because i think it looks adorable even just year round because like from where you guys are, you can't tell it's ghosts. It just looks like I have a glowing background. And I have 
this. And I wish it glowed because I think the batteries died, but like it has like a bunch of random Harry style stuff, like a Dory TBWK style, but the light doesn't work. So I'm sad. Anyways, let me know if you like this glowing. I'm just going to leave you here the rest of the video so you can get like the vibe. But anyways, I'm going to keep putting the books away. <laughs> anymore oh no <laughs> okay um so that doesn't fit anymore i'll have to figure out a new way rearrange <laughs> just putting it on the bottom shelf because I had no clue what to do so yeah oh also there's just a gap here because I'm reading a book that's right here right now so that's the only reason why there's a gap but yeah I can't fit it back there and I like oh, I like how all this is set up so I don't want to like rearrange down here like my little knickknack shelf here I'll show you like I like how this like knickknack shelf is all set up so I don't know I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Peace out. Bye-bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, one last thing. I'm thinking of doing a Perks of Being a Wallflower book slash movie, like, just, like, comparison, like, kind of like video essay kind of thing. So if you guys want to see that kind of thing, let me know. Chances are I'm going to do it this month, but I don't know. Peace out. Bye-bye. See you guys later. Love you.